by Valerie Coleman, pictures by Roger. It sure is hot today, Morris complained to Ralph as they rested under a shady tree. We need to find a way to cool off. Ralph was watching a duck family splash in the pond on the far side of the meadow. We could go swimming, he said. Morris turned to stare. Ralph, we don't know how to swim. Well, not yet we don't, Ralph assured him. But we could learn. Come on, Ralph jumped to his feet. We need to find someone to teach us how to swim. At the pond, Ralph said hello to the duck family he had been watching earlier. Would you teach me and my friend how to swim, he asked. One of the ducklings quacked. Cows can't swim? And the little ducks started laughing so hard that they rolled over and got water up their noses. Ralph laughed too. <laughs> well, not yet they don't but maybe you could help us learn. As the ducklings coughed and spluttered, their mother explained, We swim by resting on the water on our bellies and kicking our feet under us. It's really very easy. Ralph thought that did sound easy, so he tried to rest on the water like a duck. He sank like a stone. When he came up, he was spluttering as much as the baby ducks. See? Morris called from the shore. I don't think cows were meant to swim. I think it takes practice, Ralph sneezed. And I think I need something to keep the water out of my nose. He blinked and added, and my eyes. Ralph went into the swim shop on Main Street. I'm learning how to swim, but I need something to keep the water out of my eyes and my nose. Bob, the owner, looked surprised. I've never had a cow ask for nose plugs or goggles before. Probably because cows don't swim. Not yet they don't, Ralph smiled. But I'm learning. Well, Bob looked around. Try these. Soon Ralph was back at the pond and ready to try again. This time he asked a turtle that was floating nearby. Excuse me, but could you teach me how to swim? The turtle opened one eye, then opened both eyes to stare at Ralph. Cows don't swim. Not yet they don't, Ralph said. But I'm going to try. How do you swim? The turtle lifted one flipper out of the water. I use these. They help push me through the water when I swim. But... You don't have flippers. You have hooves. And the turtle dove down into the cool water and swam away. He's right, Ralph, said Morris. Back at Bubbles Bob's swim shop, Bob sold Ralph the biggest flippers he had. You'll probably want two pairs. Morris had waited at the pond. Maybe that frog could tell us how he swims. So Ralph asked the frog. I use my legs to push through the water, but when I want to relax, I just float on a lily pad or a log. It holds me up. Float? Ralph thought out loud. If I could float, that would help me swim, wouldn't it? He tried over and over 
and over. Bob looked up as Ralph came into the shop. Can you swim yet? Not yet. I need something to help me float. The frog uses a lily pad, but it was too small for me, and the log kept rolling over when I tried to sit on it. Ralph shook water from one ear as he remembered. Hmm. Bob looked around the store. I think this should work. And he brought out a big surfboard. This should hold you up without rolling over. By the end of the afternoon, Ralph was able to float on his surfboard and swim around the pond. He was wonderfully cool and was waiting for Morris to return from the swim shop. Morris returned to find Ralph staring at the surfboard. How hard do you think it would be to stand on it? Oh no, Ralph, Morris exclaimed. Cows may be able to float and swim, but they definitely do not surf. Ralph grinned. Not yet they don't. The end. Inspirational. Exceptional. High tech. Organizing. Huh? Oh! Reading it. Warm and fuzzy. Suspenseful. Reading is... Musical! <laughs> Out of this world. Out of this Reading is... everything. The song, reading, challenge. We're open. Check us out.